action. Now when applying our epoxy sealer, you can apply it many different ways. You can apply it by a brush, a roller, sprayers, right out of the container, however you want to apply it. Remember, our sealer is very thin like water, so there's many different ways to apply it. But please take the necessary safety precautions not get in your eyes or on your skin. Now, when you go to apply the sealer into a rotted area, all you need to do is take off the loose dry rot that you can with your hands or a wire brush. You don't need to sit there and gouge it all out. Just get the loose off. You don't need to spend a lot of time with this. Get the loose off and start applying. In this application, we're going to use a brush. And we recommend you use cheap throwaway materials such as this tip brush. Or if you want to use nicer equipment, which we don't recommend, we do have a cleanup for cleaning up unnecessary spills or equipment that you'd like to keep. Now, again, when applying the sealer, it's very thin like water. And what you want to do is keep saturating the wood with as much as it'll take. And you can watch it soak right in. You want the wood to take as much as you can. And because our epoxy is different from any other brand on the market, it will penetrate deep into the wood, encapsulating all the fungus and spores and ensuring that it's cut off from the air and the moisture and rehardening the wood to usefulness again as soon as it cures up. What you're looking for is that nice wet look. Now this may take a few applications, but keep putting it on, putting it on, putting it on until it just cannot take any more. Now one of the key elements of a piece of wood, if you can, to make pay special attention to is the end grain. This is where wood is going to absorb the water the most. This is where the, the sealers go right into the wood. Here you want to make pay special attention as much as you can. You can actually watch it soak right into the wood. Now again, you want to keep putting it on until it has a nice wet look. Almost like a glaze look. And again, if you can, pay special attention to the end grains. Now once you think you've completely saturated the wood, leave it alone for a few minutes, 15, 20 minutes, come back, see if any more will soak in. If so, reapply. Then once you're, you're satisfied, you've completely saturated the wood, leave it alone. Let it sit and cure out. Now depending on temperature, this may take up to seven days. Please read the instructions for the drying time.